the African presence in Greece and Rome. The relationships between the Greeks, Romans, and the African peoples touched on earlier in this study were highly interwoven. But though both the Greeks under Alexander the Great and the Romans under Julius Caesar eventually became conquerors of many of the Bible lands, the widespread presence of so many black peoples had a tremendous impact within both Greece and Rome. This fact is made easy to prove by the hundreds, perhaps thousands of works of art that clearly portray black Romans and Greeks. It is further supported by a large body of ancient literature. In the Greco-Roman world, there were black gladiators, diplomats, musicians, doctors, religious leaders, and a host of other Africans in all sorts of roles. In addition, a number of the greatest literary figures of the Greco-Roman world were Black. Virgil, author of a famous Aeneid, has been depicted as an African from Carthage. Sappho, 600 BC, the illustrious poetess, and Aesop, the famous author of fables are also well known to have been black. There were people of color throughout the spectrum of the arts from orators, poets, mimes, acrobats, and musicians, to doctors, metallurgists, merchants, and seamen, black people of all descriptions, sizes, and shapes. <laughs> 